Before we get in this totally fire video, just want to say go ahead, smash that red subscribe button down below. Also, do not forget to comment who you guys want to see in a future episode. That being said, I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to episode 11 of In the Film Room. Today, we're here with my former quarterback and current Washington commander, Cole Kelly. How you doing, Cole? Yeah, I'm doing all right, man. I appreciate you having me on. It's all good. It's all good, Cole. Really appreciate your time. I know you guys are in the middle. Well, you guys just started camp, so, you know, off day. Really appreciate it. Uh, yep. Cole just got out of the film room, man. Um, got out of the film room, stepping to another one. Uh, you know, not <laughs> obviously not a physical one, but, you know, virtual one. So, kind of funny. But, uh, no, really, really good talking to you. Really cool catching up. And, uh, like I said, really grateful for your time. And uh, got some questions for you. Uh, ready to get into it if you are. Yep, let's do it. All right, so my one, my first question for you is, so people might not know at the FCS level, like the Heisman um, of the FCS level is a water painting award. Um, you know, I'm a little biased, but you should have won uh back to back years 2020 and 2021 but uh you know eric bear is a really good player he earned it as well but what did winning the award in the 2020 spring season mean to you yeah man it meant a lot um you know i i'm with you uh when you just introduced the award and i i didn't know much about it going into it either honestly um i mean i haven't come down from from um fbs you know I, I really didn't know much about it obviously i know who walter payton is and what a great what what that means so it was a huge honor for me, and uh, I kind of after I won it is when I started to learn how like important and big it was. But uh, no, I mean, anytime you can put together a year like that, you know, it really shows the kind of offense we had and team we had. You know, because uh, obviously I can't. I mean, you know, quarterbacks only as good as the people, players he has around them. So you know, without the offensive line blocking and doing their jobs with that in that relationship, I mean, you know, the relationship me and Drew had in our yes, offensive sir. line and. Um, and then, and, and obviously, our wide receivers, running backs, and tight ends are, were great. We had great skill players. Yeah, that's what Southeastern's really known for. And, uh, you know, so without them, man, it, it's, it wouldn't have happened. Yes, sir. Yeah, I totally get it. Um, you know, we had a really good team. And, yeah. uh, you know, everyone else doing their job helped put you in a, a really good position to help win the award. And, I mean, no in my high school, we um, we never, like, we never passed the ball. We were, like, a run-heavy team. So, yeah. I mean, you were the first quarterback ever, like, seen throw for 600 yards in several games. I mean, that was <laughs> just absolutely insane. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's, you know, it was awesome playing with you. And to see you win that award was just, you know, awesome. I see the hard work you put in. And, uh, yeah, I was just so happy to see you win it. I was watching it with my with my mom and my dad. And uh, when they said your name, we were just all going crazy. But, um, <laughs> yeah, my family was too. <laughs> yes, sir. I saw the video. It was, just, it was awesome with you and Coach Selfa. Yeah. That was just a really awesome moment. No doubt. Um, so, my second question for you is you have to play in two All-Star games. You have to play in the Hula Bowl, which you actually won the MVP of. And then you also got to play in the Shrine Bowl. So, can you just tell us what it meant to you to be able to get an extra collegiate game? So, so I'm just gonna have to correct you on this real quick. It was the uh, Hula Bowl and the NFLPA Bowl. Uh, uh, I didn't hear you say that the first time. That's why I didn't. I'm just now hearing that. And I got the MVP in the PA Bowl, but not that. Not trying to, you know, too much more anything. Just to let you know. But uh, it was a great. It was a, it was a great experience for me. You know, that's what. Uh, obviously, I have been finished my last year, you know, the kind of steps going into the next process. I had to get an age and all that stuff. And me and my agent were talking. He's like, you know, you want to you want to do two games. And I'm like, dude, I'll play in as many games as, as I possibly can. Like, like, that's what I like to do. I like the preparation that goes into it and the going out and playing the camaraderie with those guys. So, um, yeah, we did that. And having played in two of them, I felt helped me. I played the Hula Bowl first in Orlando, which was a great experience. And uh, so I got to learn how that kind of was and how the whole – kind of chaos of a of a bowl of a just getting a whole bunch of guys from different places together and installing a playbook and they're going to run plays like you know it's kind of it's a little chaotic so um having gone through that and then going to out to LA to uh to play in the Rose the Rose Bowl Stadium at the PA Bowl which was a freaking awesome experience and uh I think that I think just the experience from the first one helped me with the second one I was a little more prepared I knew what was gonna it was gonna be like and uh, so I got to go out there and, I, you know, I played well. And like I, like I said earlier, you know, the players around me, that's that's what it matters. And uh, they made some plays for me. Yeah, so, uh, that's awesome. Um, like I said, I was talking to CP the other day, who you're actually teammates with. He played in the uh, in the, um, the Reese Bowl and he said the exact same thing. Yeah. You know, yeah. just getting, getting to play on one and, you know, you're learning like what 3% of a playbook is. And um, yeah. It's all that stuff. So that sounds like you had an awesome experience. I thought I thought you won the Hula Bowl MVP because I remember watching you at Orlando because you guys played at the UCF Stadium. Right. And, uh, no, actually, uh, I started that one. I started yeah. that game and I didn't start the PA Bowl, but I ended up winning the MVP of the PA Bowl. So it was kind of you know it's a little bit backwards, but it yeah. worked out well. Yeah. I mean, I watched both of them, so I was like, put Cole, put Cole, <laughs> and then so when you went yeah. in, that was <laughs> awesome. But um, 
So we're going to fast forward a little bit. So my third question pertains to the combine. Um, you got to go, and uh, obviously the quarterbacks are at, like, the beginning. But you got to stay throughout, like, all three days. And uh, you got to go uh, throw for, like, the running backs and, um, you know, all the other positions. So can you just tell us what your combine experience was like? Yeah, man. Actually, um, so, I, yeah, like like you said, I got to stay throughout the old uh, – to throw to the other positions with a handful of guys. And um, so – what happens is, like, I think it was that Monday they fly you out, and what everybody else sees is the on the field stuff. But that was, I think, that Thursday. But that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I mean, you're up at six thirty in the morning, six o'clock in the morning. You don't get back till do sometimes midnight. And I mean, it's 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 going to the hospital, waiting to get MRI, all this stuff, and that's when you kind of start to feel the business aspect of getting to the next level because. Uh, I mean, obviously, what everybody else sees is the football aspect, and uh, so you kind of get a get a little feel for that. But um, you know, obviously, it was a great experience. You know, after the, I think the, my performance in the PA Bowl is what helped me get that invite, and um, to go out there with I mean a bunch of great dudes, a great great football players, you know, a bunch of freaks out there, and be able to throw to some of the best wideouts in the nation and get to but get to show what I'm capable of with that. It was um, it was a great experience, man. I was very glad to be able to do. I was very honored, blessed, and uh, you know, just thankful. Uh, that's, that's that's really cool. Um, I remember, well, like I said, I mean, this is kind of just sounds like you know. I remember watching. I remember watching, but I mean, really, I watched both your um All Star games. We watched the combine, and um, my friend was like, "Why are you still watching the combine? Your guy already went for the quarterbacks." I'm like, "Dude, he's throwing to like the t- he's throwing to the tight ends and the, uh, to the running backs." Oh, yeah. I'm like. I got I got to watch him. So I was watching all the running back drills and everything, and then I just, reading, it. just reading all the articles and stuff, hearing how how you tore it up, man. I was just so happy to see that. And um, it sounds like a really crazy week, you know, just outside of the stuff we see on TV. Yeah, just, it is uh, pretty long yeah, week. Yeah. That's insane. But um, so on to the fourth question. At Southeastern, obviously we were teammates. Uh, that was a pretty intricate playbook. Um, by like college, it means definitely yeah. really intricate for like a high school guy to come and learn it. But, I mean, NFL playbooks are, like, a totally different animal. So, can you tell yeah. us what it's been like adjusting from a collegiate playbook to an NFL playbook, especially since, you know, you're the quarterback, you're the uh, signal caller? Right, yeah. You know, um, you know, I think the way Coach Stevens does things is he makes it pretty simple, actually. Like, I've had, you know, the first – play that was my third offense of college. And, you know, the first offense I went in, it, it's – I mean, you had to have a wristband out there. Like, it's – freaking two whole lines of words that's like dang near a paragraph of a whole, just one play like it's calling out telling everybody what to do in the play and all that stuff so you get back to more a little bit like that in the nfl um but the way teams are kind of going and what i really like about the commanders and what our all, oc scott scott turner how he does things is it's similar to how we did things at southeastern you know wow. uh, the terminology is what the biggest difference is i mean the verbiage the plays are still going to be long because you have to make sure everybody's on the same page and there's a reason they do things and the defense is obviously the, and the defensive coordinators are a lot better so, you know, you have to be prepared and, and have answers to stuff. But, um, you know, what surprised me is the protections. The protections are a lot like we did at Southeastern, and uh, which I think is the best way to do it. I mean, you can only you can you can only bring so many kind of different kind of blitzes. Right. And uh, the key is to be, be the, for the O-line and quarterback to be on the same page. So the quarterback knows if and where he's hot. And because uh, we can get the ball out of our hands, we have built in hots, which I think, like I said, our, our uh, OC does a great job of building into our route concepts. So we can just get the ball out and there's no miscommunication. You know, we're going and moving and getting the rhythm. So uh, that's but definitely the biggest thing is 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 the verbiage. It's it's a lot of words and they're coming at you fast and you got to know what to do. Yeah, no, that's, that's cool. Because I remember I, you know, you hear on NFL Network and some of the players are like, like, what even is this? It's like a half a yeah. for one play. But I know that's cool. That's that's really that's really awesome to hear though that like a lot like a lot of playbooks kind of similar to what Coach Steven does, uh, especially yeah. like for me because hopefully you know Michael's made it to the NFL just like you. And uh, it sounds no like you know Coach yeah. Steven's his, his system has made it easy for you to adjust into the Commanders' offense. So that's yeah, you know, that's just really cool to hear, especially you know giving somebody like me, you know, fellow yeah. teammate Southeastern confidence, you know, as well, you know, when time comes to take the next step. But no uh, that's awesome. And uh, my last question, you know, obviously you guys are in camp right now, and I said it earlier. But, um, you know, can you tell us what differences or the similarities between a college camp and a NFL camp? Um, you know, I think in the NFL, if I'm being honest, they take care of you more. 
it's more of to take care of your body, not to let's beat you down and try to, you know, wear you out. And I'm not saying the college is trying to wear you out. It's just more of like, like, you know, we have OTAs and all this different stuff where we already installed all this stuff. So we're going right. in camp, you know, we're not doing any meetings that are unnecessary, you know, they give us breaks when we need them. And I mean, we're out the door when we need to be it ain't there's no bs on around i mean it's it's doing what we need to do to be prepared and then if it's unnecessary we're not doing it you right. know because i mean there's people invested in this you know all this stuff and our health is really the most important thing so uh they make sure to take care of that and uh i think that's going to be a, a big difference for because i mean it's an 18 game season and i mean obviously the difference we got grown men come and tackle you. So, you know, you got to be healthy and ready to go for that. Yeah, definitely. And it's, it's probably a lot, it's probably a lot different because, uh, you know, at the collegiate level, you're you're having 17, 18 year old kids come in and you got to learn a whole playbook. So, you know, I got to install a lot more. A lot of people are coming from uh, you know, right. different backgrounds, like offense wise, scheme wise. And then, but, you know, going to the NFL, especially with COVID year, you know, you have, you have 20, 22, 23, even 24 year old seniors. So, um, you know, every, yeah. every offense at the collegiate level is pretty intricate. So, you know, you guys can kind of hit the floor running and you don't really have to slow it down. Right. To like what you have to do at the collegiate level. But uh, no, that, that's awesome. I definitely see where you're coming from. I mean, you guys are all, you know, top 1% of football players like in the world. So, I mean, to, just to, you know, keep grinding each other like down every day would definitely probably take a toll on the season. So I definitely see what you're saying, you know, kind of more about self-recovery and like the mental aspect of it more so than like the physical, uh, you know, just grinding every day aspect. But um, yeah. And don't get me wrong. It's a grind. I mean, yeah. it's a freaking yeah. grind, but uh, obviously all camps are going to be a grind, but uh, you know, they try to take care of you as much as you can. Yes, sir. But uh, so, you know, in the film room, half half interview, half uh, movie review or series review. In this case, um, you chose The Office. Is there any reason why you chose The Office? Uh, honestly, it's just the one I know the best, because like, like you said, you've seen it a few times. I've seen yeah. it. I've seen it quite a few, too. If I'm ever looking for a series, I need to like I'm just bored. Need something to watch. I'm going to the office. So definitely. Uh, so uh, going off that, you know, The Office is uh you know it's a documentary well it's a show that's like plays it off like a documentary right. so they're they're like still aware of the camera they do the interviews and everything i mean a lot of people probably know the office it's a classic and uh yeah it's basically just a documentary but they do a good job putting you know emotional moments in and getting a story across through through the several seasons that they have but uh going off that what do you like so much about the show uh honestly i love dwight Schrute, man dwight Schrute cracks me up and uh I mean, as simple as that. I really love Dwight. Is I think he's probably one of the fa my my favorite TV show characters of all time. And uh, I really just like the simplicity of the humor. Like it's everyday life humor, not anything off the wall crazy. Because I I mean my uh, sense of humor is a little bit different. I I find just the simple simple things pretty pretty hilarious. And uh, you know, just Dwight Schrute and Jim and Jim, their back and forth cracks me up. So. Uh, I love that, and uh, I think it's just really good actors. Obviously, I love Steve Carell, and just I think you got it's it's long, and they fe feature a bunch of really good actors throughout the show, and like sometimes I forget Will Ferrell's in it uh, at yeah. a point. Kevin and, Spacey, uh, yeah, all those all those guys, all those guys, yeah. So um, you know, it's just a really great. I think it's just a really great show. Yeah, definitely. No, I definitely see where you're coming from. They have uh, John Krasinski as Jim. Um, yeah. You know, he's he's more of an actor now. He's uh, directed some uh, some projects such as like The Quiet Place One or Quiet Place Two. Yeah. Um, you know, he was in uh, Doctor Strange and Multiverse of Madness. Uh, spoiler alert, if you didn't know, but it's kind of been out there already. But uh, you have Jenna Fisher, you have Craig Robinson. I mean, the cast goes on and on. But I mean, yeah, just going back to like how simple it is. Um, you know, I think I think it's a classic. Every time I see it, I watch it. Um, but you know the hum the humor is like top notch here. I, my favorite, I like, I love Dwight True. Like you said, my favorite like moment from The Office is when they um they like the CPR episode with the dummy. Dude, and, and they're no doing way! The I swear I had this prepared. That was gonna be <laughs> my one too. I swear when he puts the mask on. His yeah, face, <laughs> and then dude, he like looks around. Easily my was, favorite yeah. one. Yeah, I was yeah. thinking about it earlier, and I was like, yeah. If he asked me which episode, there's so many. I don't know which one. And yeah. that was my head, and I was like, yeah, no doubt. Yeah, I, I mean, I just I love this show. I've, like I said, like you said earlier, I watch this show about like five times all the way through completely, yeah. watching every episode. Um, but going off that, do you have any dislikes with the show? Uh, no, I mean, not that I really think of, you know. Yeah, I, I mean, it's, it's so dope. simple. It's kind of hard to like dislike it because yeah, it kind of does exactly. Yeah, I wouldn't watch it. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. It's pretty good. So with that being said, uh, since it's a streaming, since it's on the streaming platforms, it used to be on Netflix. Um, that's where I was like watching all the time was on Netflix, but right. now it's on Peacock. 
Uh, I don't have Peacock. I like all the other ones except Peacock. Yeah, um, yeah you can. You, I think you get like the first two or three seasons for free, but then you have to pay for it. So I haven't watched uh, it in a minute. But um, so out of zero to ten streams, how much you give in the office? Out of zero out of ten. Yes, sir. Uh, I mean, I don't like give just giving things ten or zero, but I mean, it's got to be a, at least. A, it's got to be a nine. I mean, yeah, uh, it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, no, I totally agree. Like I said, watch it five times through. Every episode, yeah. never, never skipped it. So uh, you know, it's a classic. Every time it's on TV, I'm gonna turn it on. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go nine point eight. Um, it's one of my favorite yeah. shows of all time. Um, awesome acting, awesome script. Um, really emotional at times, and I just thought it was a good story and a really within like a really simple show that I think a lot of people could like. No but doubt. uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, so you got anything else you want to say? You know, to the uh, to the audience or like about football or about the the Commanders this season or anything? No, man, I think it was pretty good. Uh, pretty good interview. Uh, Dom, I appreciate you having me on, man, and uh, good luck this year. Y'all go kick some butt. Yes, sir. Appreciate it, Cole. You know, we're gonna, you know, finish right, where you man. guys started last year, and uh, no doubt. you know, appreciate your time. I know you're in the middle. You're in the middle of camp, so you know, time's really valuable. So just to stop here on your day off really means a lot. Yeah. Anytime. But, uh, that that's it for episode eleven, guys. Like I said, really appreciate Cole uh, Cole coming on the show, and uh, go ahead and make sure to slap that subscribe button and uh, drop a comment down below. Uh, that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace.